Yeah. Yeah. No. We are trying our very best not to fall and uh, break a nail right now. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going for you? Woo! Shit. Are you okay? I, I'd help. No, no, no. Don't try and help right. me. Okay. Someone else can help me. <laughs> you still haven't You're had okay? a fall and I'm really jealous. I don't need to. I really don't need to. I'm okay. You can fall for both of us. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> Second time is the charm. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> yes. We're not having a lot of success here, but you yourself, darling, girl and nothing girl. have had quite a lot of success in the acting world. <laughs> How have you achieved your success so far and what has been your highlight in your career? Hey, well, in terms of Ooh. having achieved my success, I think it's been a lot of hard work. Yeah. Um, I studied for what I do, um, spent time in university. I went to the University of Witwatersrand. Mm -hmm. I did a BA in Dramatic Arts. And then in turn, what was the second part of the question? Uh, what has been your highlight? Oh! <laughs> My highlight! <laughs> oh, uh, well, um, I was nominated for an international Emmy last year. I had the opportunity to go to the awards in New York. And then this year I was nominated for a SAFTA. Oh girl. And I won the SAFTA. Oh wow. So I guess those are big highlights, you know, just, just a little big highlights. Do you think we're going to win at the skating thing? Because we've been trying for a while. Yes, you can. I've fallen. You haven't though. So actually you're, you're just successful at everything. Huh? You know why? Because my face is my career. I can't oh. be risking my <laughs> career for nothing. <laughs> Well, you seem to have had a lot of success in life, including not falling today. I'm going to try and successfully turn around a bit so we can just stand still and okay. move on to a further question. All the best. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Well, you seem to have had a lot of success in life, including not falling today. I'm going to try and do like a half moon circle type thing. Go for it. Yeah, I don't know. Watch, watch, watch. I got this. Kel. How is that? That's a bad girl. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> so, I actually wanted to know how have you managed to build your brand and stay relevant? All the you good? Yep, I'm so proud of myself. On the road to success, like Tiso. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you managed to build your brand and stay relevant for so many years? Okay, well, in terms of brand, I have to admit that it's teamwork that makes the dream work. Um, yeah. I definitely n would not be where I am without my friends and the people who support me. Um, I have a friend, a very close friend of mine, who did marketing, yeah. who's taking care of the PR side of life. You know, oh, she wow. she monitors what I do on social media, makes sure that I behave, and terms and, and stuff like that. But I also enjoy uh, okay. connecting. Okay. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. <laughs> on the road to success like you so. <laughs> so I actually wanted to ask, mm -hmm. how have you managed to stay so relevant and build your brand over time? Okay, well, in terms of building my brand, I have to admit that it's, it's actually more teamwork than anything. Yeah. I don't think I'd be where I'd be without the people supporting me in terms of my friends, because mm -hmm. most of them are in the industry yeah. and most of, ha most of them are experts in different fields yeah. so like my one friend who's my PR manager she did marketing in university and so she handles all of that from the social yeah. media I'm not not that I'm saying that she's the one that's pretending to be me no it's me <laughs> <laughs> she just makes sure that I'm I'm, I'm behaving yeah. but I, I actually enjoy interacting with my supporters I've got the craziest of supporters and I think it's that being authentic to who I am mm -hmm. is what maintains my brand for me more than anything okay. yeah speaking of social media actually what media platforms do you use the most so what social media platforms do you use the most? With such a big following, what social media platforms do you use the most? Well, it is your Instagram, your yeah. Facebook, your Twitter. I think I'm on Twitter a lot more because Twitter is now. Yes. With Instagram, you need to have at least a picture, you know. Um, so I'm always, always on Twitter with my people, my supporters. I hate calling them fans. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah. There's something about it, yeah. Do you think um, it is better to be more reserved or more out there these days when it comes to social media? I think it's all dependent on personality. Because yeah. I do have some people, uh, some 
some of my friends in the industry who are natural introverts. So the thought of being on social media the whole time is actually quite traumatizing to them. It's they feel violated, their space is violated. But the reality is that we're cast for our followers, unfortunately, you know. So it's something that they have to kind of teach themselves. But it's, I don't think it's a necessity per se, because your talent speaks more than your followers at the end of the day. There's, there's a lot of questions right now where, in terms of our industry, you have movies on circuits, but then you have people not showing up. At that time, you have a million followers. So what is it that we're doing wrong? Was it the movie or the actress who's a problem? What advice would you give the viewers at home who are wanting to start their own brand and you know stand out from the crowd? What advice would you give the audience at home on how to build their own brand and stand out from the crowd? What advice would you give people at home that want to start their own brand and stand out from the crowd? I think the biggest lesson that I can give one is be true to yourself. Be as authentic to yourself as you can be. Because there are a lot of things that will push you around and you actually find that whatever vision you had for yourself, you will lose in the process. So, um, yeah, also be willing to put in the work. It's unlike social media, which gives instant gratification, things that matter take that much longer, but it's worth it in the end. With such a busy schedule, how do you manage to balance it all? <laughs> okay, what I do mostly is focus on what matters. I focus on why I'm doing what I'm doing. I focus on what matters the most in my career. You know, it's about keeping yourself inspired to do better and to live better. Well, I see you've let go off the rail there. So how about I inspire you <laughs> to, you know, get going with me without holding on? Okay, let's yeah? give it a try. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you've let go off the rail there. So how about I inspire you, you to, you know, try it out again without oh, holding on? Oh my goodness. I think I've got her. Come, let's go. Let's go. Yeah? <laughs> Oh, okay. You don't need go. to see this part. <laughs> <laughs>